Hi guys, it's Penny. Welcome back to Creative Fab. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. If you love craft, DIYs, everything on the project, I promise you, you are in the right place. <laughs> yes, you are. So, and today we are so excited because we have a special challenge. It's a collab with my friend Michelle from Michelle Cozy Home. So, today we are doing a Christmas challenge using upcycle items and thrift store items. So, today is about show everybody that we can give you a second opportunity to those little items that we sometimes think they are ready to go to the garbage. But we can give you a second chance so i can wait to see everybody's creation and also i can't wait to show what i did so if you want to see what i did let's keep watching so hello again for this project i'm going to be using this beautiful serving tray that i bought it um goodwill while ago but sadly one of my little ones to step on it and break the glass so today we'll giving a second chance to those things that we thought that we can throw in the garbage no here i am i use some tester glue to fix the glass and then I use the hard dryer to quick process so then I will be using some black paint just to paint the edges just like so and now my favorite part <laughs> I'm going to be using this little chair for my little one that they don't use anymore and I thought they are so perfect for right now the color so I decided to cut it and the straight the straightest I can so then when I finish cutting the entire chair I decide to glue so how I did I will be using some hot uh, I mean no hot glue because the hot glue it will leave you like a little bumps and show it so much so that's why I decided to use the hot I mean Jesus <laughs> the tacky glue and then just fold the paddle to make it look like it's the same piece just like so and then I decided to use more tacky glue to reinforce the glue that I already have on the tray. So and then I placed my fabric and then I flowered it out the most I can. Then I cut the excess with the cutter and no worries about that ugly part that you can see in there. We'll fix up that soon. <laughs> Then I use some much posh to apply it on the entire surface, just like so. As you can see, I use a lot, but that was on purpose because I want to reinforce the glue and I don't want this thing ending breaking. <laughs> so then I use the hair dryer and now I'm just fixing what I told you guys that we would fix it. So I use the black paint and just tapping around of the edges inside I mean and then oh my goodness I think it's already look nice but I decided to use the stencil to write the word believe and then I also draw a little snowflake on the side I also uh, fix the little spaces on the letters mm, I don't want it looks like a stencil so I just fix it I just complete that just to give you a better polished look and I added more mash pots and how this is how it came out I think it came out beautiful beautiful <laughs> and because we're not wasting anything I'm going to be using the let's over fabric for the teacher and also for another previous DIY fabrics and some twine and I'm going to be creating a little garland so what I did it was just not did a simple knots and also a hoop knots I think they call it that and just like so and then I put a bunch on it as you can see just like so and I honestly think this girl one came out really nice so does the tray so that's it for today me again i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i think it was so fun to do this collab with my friend and i really hope you guys go and check her channel and check all the videos on the playlist get inspired for christmas and be ready for christmas <laughs> so that's it for today and thank you so much for your continued support to my channel and see you guys next time ciao ciao